once I was lost in the wrecks of my sins, wretched and poor, lost no hope within. Then Jesus came, the King of all kings, and with pity and love. He took me under His wings. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of the King. His royal blood now flows through my veins. And I, who was wretched, Lost and poor now can sing. Well, praise God, praise God. Well, I'm a child of the King. Now I am a child of that heavenly home. My Holy Father, He has made me his own I've been clothed in his love and created in his image and someday I'll get to sing with those angels above oh yes oh yes I'm a child of the king his royal blood now flows through my veins and I who was wretched lost and poor now I can sing well praise God praise God I'm a child of King they tell me that one time there was this old man and they tell me he was wandering along life's highway Come to the rich farmer's door. And they tell me he knocked upon the door. They tell me the rich farmer answered the call. And that old man looked up through a smile. And he said, Sir, I'm tired. And I'm worried. And I'm hungry. I wonder if you might have a bite to eat and maybe a place to sleep. But now I don't want you to think I'm begging you for it. Because you see, I'll work if you got work to be done. Well, I guess compassion must have struck that rich farmer's heart because he said, I got a ditch to be dug from my barn out to the meadow. He said, if you'll dig that ditch, he said, I'll give you a place to sleep. I'll give you some food to eat, some clothes to wear, some money when you go on your way. The old man looked up and smiled again and said, thank you, sir. And he took the job. Well, a few days later, he was down in that ditch with his pick and shovel. And the farmer's little boy wandered down that way. Said when he got close to that ditch, said he heard that old man singing a song. Said it went something kind of like this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of the king. His royal blood now flows through my veins and I who was wretched lost and poor now I can sing well praise God praise God I'm a child of the king little boy said sir I just don't see how you could be no child of the king why your hair and beard's all grown out and your clothes is all ragged and torn. See, most children of kings have beautiful clothes to wear. And most children of kings, why, they got a beautiful bed to sleep in. And why, you just look like an old bum to me, sir. They tell me that the old man looked up with the tears running down his cheeks. He said, son, I'm a child of the true living king. And so my father's rich and he owns everything. He said, I want you to look out yonder on the hillside and see all your daddy's pretty cattle. 
My father owns those cattle, son, and all the cattle of a thousand hills and more. He said, son, I want you to look down yonder at your daddy's pretty lake. You see all that water? My father owns that lake and holds all the waters in the palms of his hand. God said he made the lily of the valley and locked himself on to it. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, son, I want you to listen. And the little boy listened. He said, you hear them little sparrows singing? My father made those sparrows. And he feeds them all and knows when one falls. <laughs> he made that big old sun ball and just hung it out there on nothing. They tell me about that time that little boy broke and he run for home. He said, Dad, you don't need that old man down yonder. He just got through telling me that he was a child of the king. Oh, that said his father was rich and said he owned everything. Why, well, he said he owns your cattle, Dad, and all the cattle of a thousand hills. And Dad said he owned your lake and held all the waters in the palms of his hand. Why, well, Dad said he even uh, made the little birds and feeds them all and even knowed when one would fall to the ground. Why, well, Dad said he made the big old sun ball and he just hung it out there on nothing. Oh, I can't understand it, Dad. How that old man could be so poor, but yet he's so rich. And they tell me that rich farmer, he just pulled his little boy up to him. He said, I want you to listen, son. The old man knows what he's talking about. Everything me and mommy has belongs to his father. They tell me the little boy dropped his head, and as he did... I begin to think about a hillbilly boy with a coal mining daddy in a washboard mama. He'd wandered out there in the rocks of sin, but then one day the king of kings come by and he reached down and took a hold of my hand and pulled me up at the party clays of sin and put my feet on a solid rock and established my going to hell. And ever since that day, I've been able to sing a brand new song because I know tonight that I'm a child. I'm a child. I'm a child of the true living King. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of the true living King. And you just listen to me right now. If there be one person uh, in this house tonight, if you don't know Jesus, uh, He'd love uh, for you to be His child. And He'd love to become your King. And He'd love for you to be able to leave this place singing that song from your heart because you know, you know beyond a doubt uh, that you're a child of the true living King. Uh, you know you're headed to a better place. Uh, you know you're headed to the kingdom. Uh, amen. That God is preparing for His people. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of the King. Thank God. You say tonight you're a child of the King. And we're family. You know that we're family. We're brothers and sisters in the Lord. Amen. Headed for the same place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of the King. His royal blood now flows through my veins. And I, who was wretched, lost and poor, now can sing. Well, praise God. Praise God. Well, I'm a child of the King. Now I am a child of that heavenly home. Cause my Holy Father, He has made me His own. And I've been clothed in His love and created in His image. And someday I'll get to sing. With those angels above. Thank God. I felt like singing that song tonight. 
I, I know I'm a child of the King, and I know that everybody here saved is. And if you ain't, the Lord wants you to be, and you can be. There's one thing about it. Somebody was talking not not a few days ago to them, and they said, wonder why. Wonder why that time has went on as long as it has. Weakness, I said, because God's merciful, not willing that any would perish, but that all would come to repentance. And the day is coming, but yet He's been merciful. Amen. The end is coming one day, but yet tonight He's still being merciful. Still reaching out, ain't He? Amen. I thought in St. Mark, uh, chapter 4, just the verse there that I like, because one time he done it for me. Chapter 35 of St. Mark chapter 4 says, In the same day when the evening was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. I'm going to stop early and talk a little bit by the help of God. You remember when he come over to you, when he reached down, amen, pulled you up out of the more he clays of sin. You remember when Satan maybe was telling you you had no hope, amen, that you was doomed forever. Oh, but he reached down his hand. Thank God. <laughs> amen. He began to deal with the heart and let you know, amen, that he loved you, that he cared about you. Thank God he done that for me one night. And I know he's still doing it. I know that's why he's waiting. He's waiting for that a soul to come in. Amen. Hallelujah. Just, you know, one, one of these days it'll be just one more. One of these days it'll be just one more. Amen. But tonight it's whosoever will, let them come. And let them drink of the water of life freely that flows from the throne of God. He passed my way one night, hey amen, and he reached down and he told me, hey amen, that he loved me. Satan had been talking to me and telling me, hey amen, that nobody loved me, hey amen. Hallelujah, I had people love me. Hey amen, I know my people love me, but Satan still will tell you that nobody loves you. Hey amen, I know these people cared about me, but yet Satan told me that nobody cared about me. I had plenty to live for. But yet Satan told me I had nothing to live for. But then the Lord reached down. And he took a hold of my hand. And he put life inside. And ever since that day, amen, I know I'm alive. Thank God. You know what? We're not going to die no way. The people of God don't die. Amen. The body might have to, but the soul will never die. It'll go back to God that gave it. Thank God to get to go to that great paradise that He has for His children. Thank God I was thinking today, sometimes I even get homesick. Sometimes I even get homesick. Like the song said, I'm homesick for a country that I have not saw yet. Just by faith I've saw it. Just by by the word of God I've saw it but yet the eye has never saw and the ear has never heard and the tongues has never been able to tell of all the joy and, and all the good things that God hath in store for his people and he reached down one night and he told me now you're a candidate for home he reached down one night amen and he told me amen because because uh, you repent and because you open your heart, I'll come in and I'll live with you. And I and the Father, uh, we will sup with you and you can sup with us. Amen. Not just on a weekend, but we got him every day of the week. And we can talk to him like somebody said. It don't matter if it's early in the morning. It don't matter if everyone's asleep. You can call 
call on Jesus. You can call on God. Amen. Any time of day. Amen. And he'll hear you when you call. Thank God. And not only will he hear you. Amen. He's touched by the feeling of your infirmities. Of the things you go through. He cares about you. He cares. Somebody said, he don't care if I suffer. He cares if you suffer. He cares if your heart's broken. He knows how it feels. The Lord knows how it feels to be broken. He knows how it feels to, to suffer. He knows how it feels to be rejected. He knows all these feelings. And because He does, He is able to help me and you. Amen. When we call on Him, He's able. Oh, I look in this Word of God. And He said to them disciples, Getting on a boat, let us pass over to the other side. Amen. As we're going through this life, you know, I like to say that after you get saved, it's just a bed of roses every day. I like to say that, but I cannot lie. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God, said, God didn't say it would be that way. He said, I'll go with you all the way, even to the end of the world. That's a great promise. But yet he said, in the world you'll have trouble. But yet he turned it around and said, but in me you'll have peace. So as we go through this world, we'll have our troubles. As we go through this world, we'll have our trials. As we pass through this life, amen, there will be many storms and many heartaches. Amen. There'll be many times we'll be up and other times we'll be down. There'll be times we'll suffer and hurt and feel like nobody knows how we feel. But rest assured there's one tonight that knows how you feel. That when the storms of life come, amen, he is able able to calm it in your soul and give it just like when the storm in the midst of the sea and it tossed the boat round about and the waters come over into the boat amen and they tried hard to get through the storm but yet it seemed like it was a losing battle until they remembered the Lord's on board with us the Lord's on board with us and Somebody went running to him and somebody said, Jesus, don't you care that we perish? I'm here to tell you tonight the Lord cares if you perish or not. There's not one soul or one person that the Lord don't care about. I don't care how low they sunk. I don't care what they have done. The Lord loves them and cares about them and would love to deliver them from all the weights of sin that keep some weighty down and thank God he can don't you care Lord don't you care a lot of times in my life I've went through things and I've said Lord don't you care I catch myself saying Lord don't you care what I'm going through and then you know he might not answer it all the time right then but after a while he would answer and he'd say I care Amen. The times that you thought I wouldn't dare, I was still close as the breath you breathe. Hallelujah. The time of my hondo. The time Satan said that I was not there, he was just lying again. I was always there. Thank God and I cared. He cares for you tonight. Hey man, help me have a little faith, Lord. He man, he told them one time if they had the faith as a grain of mustard seed, they could say to that mountain, be thy move. They could say to the sick of my tree, be thy plucked up and cast into the sea. The faith of grain of mustard seed. But yet sometimes that little grain of mustard seed seems so big. Sometimes it's easy and other times it's a little hard but yet the Lord knoweth how you feel and the Lord knoweth what shape we're in and the Lord knows how low we might get 
And no matter how low we might get down, that little faith will bring us back up. That little faith will lift us back up by the hand of the Almighty God. He rose up and he rebuked the wind. Amen. And the waves and he said, Peace, peace be still. And there was a great calm. He can put peace in your soul. Calmness. Amen. And joy inside. Joy unspeakable, the writer said. Joy. Hallelujah. Joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. And the half ain't never been told. We can tell it all night and never get it all told. Of the peace. Come unto me, all ye heavy laden. Oh, and learn of me. <laughs> Amen. For he said, I am meek and lowly. Thank God. What a Savior. The Lamb of God. When they were searching for one that was able to open the seven seals of the churches and they looked high and they looked low and seemed they couldn't find one. And old John's, amen, comes over, it seems like the throne of God, you know, and said, Ah, oh, hey, oh, it seemed like we've looked here and we looked there and we can't find nobody worthy. But when he looked toward the throne of God, uh, he seen one proceeding from the bosom of God himself. Who was he looking at? The Lamb of God, Jesus, uh, the Son of the living God. Uh, amen. And then old John, I believe, said, We have found one. The Son of God is worthy to do all things. The Son of God is worthy to open the seven seals. And the Son of God is worthy because He took upon Himself, amen, to be a sacrifice, amen, for the whole world. Amen. Who can be saved tonight? Amen. Not just the Jew, amen, but now whosoever will. Not just the red or the the white or the black, but everybody the same in the Savior's sight. And I'm glad we got it that way. Thank God. And now we become the children of the Almighty God through Jesus Christ Himself. And He stands still yet with His hands outreached, saying, Come on to me, and I'll give you rest. Come on to me, all ye that heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Amen. He's talking about last night, God being old-fashioned, but up to date, at least I was, and a lot of others was too, and got me started. <laughs> but, amen, Jeremiah, though, said, Seek ye after the old paths, and now you found it, walk therein, and you shall find what? Rest for your souls. There's rest in him, ain't there? There's peace in him, peace in him, and joy in him. Thank God. He's got it tonight. Satan says he's got a lot of things for people. But you know what? The thing Satan's got is only for a season. The Bible says the pleasures of sin is only for a season. And then it's payday. The Bible said the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life uh, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Uh, thank God He passed over for us. Uh, everybody here, uh, amen, that say, I, I, I'd say just about everybody you talk to that say could almost tell you tonight uh, and almost tell you the place, uh, amen, when they accepted Him in. Uh, if they can't think of nothing else, they can think of that. Uh, oh, what He'd done. Uh, I thought about Mert was talking at her church. Mert said, I remember when it was a log church here. And God was God back yonder. Amen. He's still God. Hallelujah. And He's always been God. And like the song goes, He ain't dead. He is alive. Thank God. No, it only is He alive. He is still powerful. And He is still able to save the uttermost to the guttermost. He is able to do it tonight. He is able to wash your sins away and make you whiter than snow. He is able to make a new creature out of it. Amen. Like Nicodemus slipped in to see Jesus by night. Probably ashamed to come by day. I don't know. He was a ruler of the Jews, I think the Bible said. And he snuck in by night and, 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 and wanted to know what he must do. 
have to be saved, to have life. Jesus said, you must be born again. You must be born again. He said that this born of the flesh is flesh, and that is born of the Spirit is spirit. We was born of the flesh one time. And then when we come to the accountability to where we know what we're doing right from wrong, then we needed to be born of the Spirit, didn't we? Then we need to be born of the Spirit. Thank God, born again. A new creature. The Bible calls it a new creature. <laughs> we are a new creature. I know what God can do. I have heard people say, but I hate people, and I don't know if I can get that hatred out of my heart. I said, if you'd just let the Lord inside of you, you'd lose the hatred. <laughs> Ain't that right? <laughs> if you let the Lord inside, you'll lose the hatred. Amen. We've been talking to a, a sis every now and then, and, and she wants to be saved, but she says she can't forgive somebody. Amen. I said, it'd be, you know what? It'd be better to let all that stuff go. It'd be better just to turn it loose. It'd be better just to forgive and, and forget. You might say, well, I can't forget. By the help of God, you can forget things. By the help of God, you can push it out of your mind. Satan might try to bring it back, but you can push it out of your mind. Amen. You can say, I have forgave that person by the mercy of God. And God's help you can. With God's help you can. I thank God. I didn't think I liked some people either. But when I got saved, amen. I tell you, these people, I don't like what they're doing for his sin. I don't like the mean things some people's doing. But I still love their soul, Brother Jim. I still love that person. And I couldn't have loved that person like that until I got a hold of the Spirit of God. I still want to see them saved. I have not seen one person that I want to see lost uh, since the Lord got a hold of me. Amen. They ain't nobody I want to see go to hell, but I want to see everyone be saved uh, and come to the joy and the mercy uh, of the Almighty God because I know how I felt uh, when He came over to me. Uh, I know how He felt uh, when He reached down for me. Uh, and I know what you would feel like tonight if you're unsaved. If you would ready men, they'd be joy you've never felt before. They'd be peace you've never felt before. Hey Amen. They'd be a new life you can start. That's what he's talking about, the being born again. You be, you're still in the body. Nicodemus said, how am I? Uh, oh man, how can I be born again? How can I enter the second time into my mother's womb? Hey Amen. He was thinking earthly. He was thinking flashly, but the Lord was speaking spiritually. Hallelujah. Oh, you'll still be in this body, but the Lord will be with you and in you. And the Lord being in you, and the Lord being with you. Though you be in this body, you'll be a new creature. You'll be a new person. And the Lord will go home with you. Hallelujah. And He will be there to help you. And if you fall, the best thing to do is just repent right then. Don't let Satan say, well, you backslid and turn around and quit. Just make it right with God. It's better to do that and pick that cross back up and run on right then than to let him get you down. Because the first thing you know, if you keep listening to him, he could get you in a backslid condition. But you don't. we don't have to listen. Hey Amen. He can. I said last night he can talk to minds and talk to our minds. I, I know because he's talked to my mind, but yet I don't have to let him dwell there. I don't have to act on them thoughts. I can rebuke them thoughts. And Amen. I've even had some dreams that I know wasn't mine. Amen. Because I didn't want to go to bed and dream them dreams. And that dream would come and, and, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't like what I dreamed. And I just woke up. When I woke up, I rebuked that and said, that ain't mine. That's yours, Satan. You're just trying to bother me. You're just trying to weight me down. It ain't mine. That's yours. Hallelujah. Hey, it ain't my sin, Satan. It's yours because I don't accept it. You don't have to accept nothing Satan tries to put on you as a child of God. And he He'll help you. He'll help you. Woo, he'll help you walk a new life. Like somebody said, without His Spirit, we're none of His. But with His Spirit, we're the children of God. 
Apostle Paul said, I cannot do nothing in myself. Then he turned it around and said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So through the help of God, we can do it, folks. Through the help of God, we can walk the way the Lord wants us to and live such a life that maybe somebody will be watching us and they'll want to get saved too. Amen. Show them love in such a way. You know, I've almost gave up on a few people. I almost felt like I was giving up on some. And right when I was getting about ready to give up, they gave up and surrendered to the Lord. Amen. It don't pay to give up on nobody. As long as there's breath in people, there's a change of them being saved. And you know that? I've had people say, but God shuts doors on people. Yeah, He can. But we're not the one that knows that, really. God's the one knows that, don't He? We don't. He also opens doors that no man can shut. Hallelujah. So it's all in the hands of God. Amen. And God can open doors that's never been opened. Amen. God can open doors to you that's never been opened to you. Thank God. I thought about, you know, if I just thought about life all the time. If I just thought about, I mean, I look at, at the things to know the Bible's being fulfilled. Like I said, you can just look at the news and read the news and know the Bible's being fulfilled. But I can't dwell on everything. Amen. It, it might get me down. i got to dwell on the good things of God. Amen. I just look on that enough to know the Bible's being fulfilled. Amen. And I don't get satisfied with this old world to where I want to settle down here. Amen. Ever since the Lord saved me, amen, I thank God for what I do have, but it's a place of dwelling until the Lord gets ready to call me home or He comes back. It ain't going to matter either way. Thank God if I go to route of death, I'll be ready. Amen. That's the way God wants us to be. Amen. And if anything, we don't look at it that way. But if anything, them that's went the route of death has beat us. You say, what do you mean? Because they are resting from their troubles and trials. And Satan can't bother them no more. Tomorrow, Satan might come our way. We're still here. And try to get us to turn back. He can't talk to them no more. Thank God, they run their race. They finish their course. And they fought a good fight. And we're still fighting. And we're still running. Amen. But thank God we can finish the race. Listen, I don't want to outrun you. I'm not in a race to outrun nobody. I'm not in a race to outpreach nobody. I'm not in a race to outsing nobody. Amen. I want to preach with people, sing with people, want to go to heaven with people. Thank God. It don't matter who comes in first. It don't matter who comes in last. It's just that we finish across the finishing line, and it's just going to be just as good for one as the other. If anything, I look at myself, and I say, God, I failed you. I know different times. I know I failed you different times. And I know it hadn't been for your mercy a lot of times. Reaching down. Picking me up and giving me strength. Hadn't been for that mercy, Lord, I know I couldn't have made it. But thank God for your mercy. Thank God when you reach down, pick me up. Thank God for good people, Christian people, that'll pray with you and pray for you. Thank God. Hallelujah. But there's one thing about it. Mommies and daddies will go for as they can. And there's a limit sometimes to how far they can go. There's a limit how far a brother or sister can go. But God, the Lord, can go all the way. Amen? All the way to the end of the world. So I'm uh, tonight I'm going to hush right there and, and, and say this, that he, he may be reaching for you tonight. If you're here lost... It's, it's not the, the great big thunder all the time. It's not the thunder. I thought my brother one time, the Lord told him to get out of his bed, go over on a hillside in front of the house and pray. Nighttime. And uh, he said, I let Satan talk me out of it. And uh, I said, Jerry, you should have went. 
because the devil don't want you to pray. He wants you to go the other way. Amen. Then he, he got thinking. He said, that's right, ain't it? And he said, I, I'd be a good title for a song, wouldn't it? You know it's not the devil. It must be the Lord. It's not the devil that, that wants to save people. It's the Lord. Satan don't want people to be saved. He don't want to help nobody. Anything good come down from the Father of light. Anything good you even have in this world that's any good, God gave that to you. You know it? Even what you got in life that you need, the things you really need, God gave that to you. If you need that, then God gave that to you. Because Satan come to kill, steal, and destroy. And he won't give you nothing good. Just bad things. Just bad things. And even that that he pictures to be good ain't no good. It's bad. But if you feel a tugging of the Spirit tonight, He's reaching down. He's reaching down. He's reaching down. Maybe Kay, get us a song. And I wish you would. I wish you would. I wish you would. Not put off the dealing of the Lord if He's dealing with you. Somebody said, how do I know? You feel that quickening in your heart. You feel that tugging of the Spirit. But Satan will say, no, not tonight. That's his job. But you've got to do one thing. You've got to make one step. You've got to make the first step. Then the Lord helps you make two. That's how it was with me. I had to make one step. Then the rest of the way, I seem to float. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Satan said, no. you got a lot of fun to be had. you got a lot of joy in life left. But oh, like I've been saying, there ain't no joy like the joy of God. You can get drunk in the Spirit and you'll not have a hangover tomorrow. Oh, you can shout. You can run the aisles tonight. And when you think about it tomorrow, it'll pick you up again. Thank God. He'll quicken your spirit and let you know that that same spirit that rose Jesus from the tomb will quicken this mortal body. Thank God that we're in the night. Oh, and He's coming by. He's reaching out His hand tonight. Whosoever will, let them come, let them come, let them come. Let them come and drink of my water of life. And I will give them a life like they never saw before. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Won't you come? Come pray with me. Eternity rolls. 
touch me. Oh, he touched me. And all oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something wonderful happened. And now I know he touched me and made me whole. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. And all oh, the joy that floods my Something happened, and now I know He touched me and made me whole. I was shackled by a heavy burden beneath. Wonderful happened, and now. 